I saw this technique and it's a very old German Austrian style of turning. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are just pine. Oh, I haven't even yeah. put a finish on them. But I wanted to learn how they were done. So I went to Austria and spent a week learning how to make them. There you go. Wow. Pretty. Are those are those turned thin? Uh, they're actually about three mil thin. I okay. could have made them thinner, but my opinion on that is why do I want to make something so t thin that if I drop it, it's going to break? Sure. So I, just, I, I left them a little thicker for that reason. Right. I was just asking because of the piercing, sometimes you need it thin just to be able to pierce without burning it quite so badly. Well, the secret to these is that this was all pierced before it was hollowed. Oh, <laughs> That's interesting. What, you, what you actually do is while the piece is on the lathe, you lay out where these parts are going to be. Mm -hmm. And you take uh, ordinary uh, carving chisels and you make and a hammer and you hammer those shapes all the way around. And then when you turn it out, those little pieces just drop out. Okay. Neat. That's how that's how I do yarn bowls. I always I always drill the hole for the yarn before I turn it because then right. when you turn it away, there's no tear out. Right. Exactly. Mm. Good uh, idea. Yeah, there's Same all through. kinds of stuff you can learn. It's just how committed are you to trying to improve and learn new techniques? Sure. Yep. That's really neat, Ruby. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you. You're welcome.